Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Directors, Mr. Director, would you call roll call? Yes, sir. Kirk Niven? Here. Bill Bailey? Present. Tanya Block? Here. Mark Spisa? Here. Kimmy Huber? Okay, so four of us are here. We have a quorum. Has everybody had a chance to review the July 13th report? Yes, and I will move approval. Good. I'll, I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion is passed. Can you give us your exhaustive and extensive report, please? I can. Um, I have nothing in addition to the director's report this month. It's probably the best report you've ever given. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, any questions of the director? Everybody awake? Yep. Oh. <laughs> uh, how about the consent agenda? Did we remove any items from the consent agenda? I don't believe so. Does anybody want to? Okay. All right. Um, then I need a, a motion for approval of the consent agenda, bill, which contains the bills and resolutions. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposition? Motion is passed. Um, hmm. Want to slow down or just finish this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we get once in a while to have an easy month that makes up for the ones that aren't so. No way to make up. No. All right. How about old and new business? Do we have any unfinished old or new business? We do not. I have a quick question, yes. sir. Now that uh, we're seeing the numbers pick up, do you have a sense of uh, how the staff are reacting to remasking and vaccinations and that sort of thing? Or are there discussions being on? As you can imagine, we're, we're referring to our original playbook when this all started, and then Alex is, you know, he is our guru about this and keeps up to date with their, all the changes. But it's probably a better question for him. Yeah, uh, we just instituted our mask mandates and um, uh, common use areas guideline and social distancing guideline, as well as mask mandates um, and um, guidelines regarding if you um, test positive with COVID 19 and employment. Screening, uh, just last Friday. So um, as of this morning, I've had a few conversations with employees and everyone seems to be on board with understanding the new, with the new Delta variant taking off a little bit. Um, there is some hesitation and concern, but I'm, I'm not as much as relief that, that we're um, asking our patrons to be mindful when they enter our buildings as well as our um, coworkers. I know that there had been a few, there are a few public systems that are considering requiring their employees to be uh, vaccinated, but we're not. We can't do that. It's an emergency use uh, authorization. Mm -hmm. So I just wondered whether that had, uh, you know, come up in your discussions. There, there have been some concerns from employees um, wondering if we were going to uh, go that route. At, at this time, Lisa and I have not had a conversation regarding that topic. Yeah, that could be a bit extreme. But, but I'd like to uh, interject uh, a question about testing, therefore, which I think is a logical follow-through that my company, for instance, which has about 150 employees, if you are not inoculated, you have to submit a test result once a week. everything I hear now is uh, the battle is going to loom between them who is and them who ain't. I don't think there's any question about that. You're now getting anger from both sides. If 
finally getting anger from those who is. Right? So um, I don't know what we're doing here. Uh, quite frankly, <coughs> it's, I'm scared of it personally mm -hmm. as the head of our company. And that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you sorry. I'm not telling you that that's what the parks ought to do or not. I'm just telling you what we're doing. I appreciate it. I appreciate that insight. Yes, thank you. So, uh, like it or not, if you're not inoculated, then you have to submit uh, a test every Tuesday morning. <coughs> uh, just another, you know, it all depends who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> But, uh, and those who are inoculated in my little office, corporate office, for lack of a better term, there are 13 of us and there are <coughs> two that are not <coughs> and are submitting tests. And then one lo and behold came down with COVID and they were afraid to take the COVID because the wife was going to deliver in two weeks. About two weeks before the delivery, she got the COVID. Now you don't know, and nobody knows what the long-term effects are on this COVID on anybody, even if you don't have the symptoms. <clears throat> so it's just one big cluster. Yeah. I'm not sure we're dealing with it the way I would pick, but I'm just one person. <clears throat> uh, some companies have, as you stated, Microsoft, you can't enter their office unless you are vaccinated. Not protected or so I don't know. To me the test is kind of useless because the minute after you took it, <laughs> you're out there exposed to people and who don't know. I, for what it's worth, that's my two cents. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on. Anything else? Any other comments? Uh, <clears throat> okay, no unfinished old business, new business. How about uh, letters of, uh, of greatness for us? <laughs> yeah. we, we did have a very nice letter um, uh, about Patrick, who works um, with Let's Grow Akron, who's our partner at some point. Mm -hmm. And so the, the letter was um, in your packet and just really appreciative of Patrick um, sharing what he knew and engaging uh, this visitor. And I think it was our great grandson. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So thanks, We're very appreciative. and sent a very nice letter about that. And I'm so. continuing to get phone calls about Pump House. Good. Little teeny park. Yeah. yeah. Such a focal. So kudos uh, to me. I had everything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> and incidentally, all of you did too. So. <laughs> but kudos to all to all the staff. This is a big visibility accomplishment for the parks. Let's forget the fact that it happens to be a nice park, but uh, visibility for the parks, bringing parks to the people, is you know, one of our themes, or should be. Uh, uh, congratulations to all of you. This is super. I, I, and I think I told Lisa, and maybe I told all of you, I've had calls, I've had Specifically, I've had calls from three different architects, two of whom I've never even met, to congratulate us on what we did and request by all three of them for me to take them down there and see what went on. So, <laughs> good for us. Okay. And congratulations for the fifth time. Very good. Okay. We're happy to set that up if you ever want on that as well as okay. now. All right. Anything else? All right. Um, horrible executive session. Um, actually, we, we had Bridget. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. That's okay. Bridget, are you here? No, she's not here. Virginia's here. Virginia, okay. Yeah. Virginia, you want to, can we, the two of us share about the parks, uh, Party for the Parks? Oh, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. I was very honored to have the Chris Rontag Award. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate it. It's a very, very much. Thank you. So, Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you's gone the wrong way. 
So in case you didn't uh, pick up on that, Virginia received the first annual um, Christine Freitag Award from um, the Friends Group. And they gave it to her at the party for the park. So that, I don't know what the numbers or anything were for that event, but it was a fun event. I was there the whole time. There were plenty of people. Um, it was a good time of the Migos. So I think that they'll probably do that again. Uh, and by the way, if you haven't seen the, uh, the uh, sculpture, uh, at the, I always call it the golf course. Um, at the golf course, you ought to stop by and see it. It's really remarkable. Very, and, and the unexpected color of the barn is, like I told you, it's a, I think it's a big plus. <coughs> Who'd ever thunk that you want to make the barn white instead of stodgy old boring red? That's right. So that's the new standard, right? Yes. Nick told me that in lieu of painting the mail pouch on the <laughs> garden, we have to chew it. <laughs> that, is that what you said? It is, yes. I never, <laughs> never really thought about it, but is, is that what we're going to call it, the Valley View? So we've named, so it's named the Himmelwright Lodge, and that's after the, the original property owners that was the Himmelwright Dairy Barn. So we can't about that. Mm -hmm. So that's the lot. What about the park itself? It's Valley View area of Cascade Valley. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't thought about it until Herb said something there. That, uh, that's the Valley View golf course where I took my criminal law professor <laughs> to play golf every <laughs> Thursday morning. Which elevated me from a C minus. <laughs> to a B plus. Okay. That's that's on the record, right? Yeah. <laughs> Statute of limitations. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> just a joke. It was just a joke. <clears throat> okay. All right. What are we missing before we go to the dreaded executive session? That's it. You don't need, you don't need to dread it today. Yes. I was just gonna say, do you mind if I explain what they have in front of them? Oh, please do. Um. So that. Old booklet is actually an insert in this month's Akron Life magazine. So it's an ad oh, that we place in the magazine, but we also have the individual copies that are ours to distribute around town. So it highlights all of our centennial themes and just all the activities that we're going to share this meal. Yeah, I like the way you did the timeline. It's very cool. It's good. They were wonderful to work with. It was a good collaboration with their graphic designer and ours, but um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what, what you're looking at there. <laughs> and, and a picture of only one human being in the whole book. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> I didn't even know that's going to be there. I didn't know that person. I'm wearing the mask. How does that happen? <laughs> there you go. The picture does not do you justice. That will thank you, sir. That, did I say the right thing? Yes, See, that was not a joke. <laughs> All right. I figured it meant it took four of those guys to do what she does. That's what I mean. Aww. <laughs> that's sweet. Thank you. And I think the picture is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would have. Nice. Said it also. You know, you are good looking, but that's against the law. Right? Is um, it against the law? That was also a joke. We have to disclaim the chair. Okay, at least I do. All right. Anything else? No, and we do not have executive session today. Oh no. Make it easy on it for the summer. Okay. You know, most most governments don't even meet in August, so. Mm -hmm. so this is a bunch. We ought to get more paid than we do. Yeah. yeah. But this is our busiest time of year. That's right. Well, I appreciate you spending your time coming all the way out. So we want to make it short for you. And I can see that the budget is being adhered to more tightly because instead of getting that skinny two pieces of paper, we get a whole hundred of them. That was not a joke either. <laughs> all right. Okay. Are we. Do we need a motion to adjourn? Or? Yeah. We typically don't, but we can. We sure can. How about just make some motion to adjourn? Okay. Second to the motion. Okay. All, All right. in favor? Aye. Oh, yeah. Okay. We are adjourned. You are adjourned.